So, you want to make a banana split. We'll take a banana, cut it in half, and there you go. Hey guys, I'm Matats by Kai. I'm Kai. Today we're back once again taking a look at how to make uh, gradients on text in Blender. It's very easy. You can see there's literally just four nodes here. We're getting started as quickly as possible. Um, I have opened the, uh, the the shader editor here, which is just, I just split my window into two by just putting my cursor up into the top left and clicking and dragging until it split in half like a banana split. <laughs> Uh, um, we're going to go ahead and change this little button right here to the shader editor. There you go. And then get rid of this by dragging it away. And here we are, back to where we started the video at. Um, now, the first thing we have is an emission shader. So this would probably be a principal BSDF. Just hit sh sh uh, Shift A, sorry, Shift A, and then search for an emission shader. I just uh, use this instead of a principal BSDF. You can use anything. I just wanted it to glow. So it's a little super bright like this. Um, and then we have a color ramp uh, node, which is Shift A, search, color ramp. There you go, right there. And I just changed the colors to two colors that I wanted, green and this like peachy like color like that, which looks really good, really tropical, I guess. Looks like a watermelon, I suppose. Um, and then we have mapping and texture coordinate after that. So shift A, search, um, mapping, there you go, right there. And then shift A, search, texture coordinates, like that. Okay, so now the, gen the generated of the texture coordinate is going into the vector of the mapping node. And then of course the vector of the mapping node is going into the color ramp and the color of the color ramp is going into the emission or the principal bsdf or the whatever other thing you're using <laughs> diffuse whatever um is going into the uh the, is going into the emission and then the emission is going into the surface of the material output and this is what we have now but the thing is that you need to fix some settings here because uh by default it'll look like um It'll look like uh, this, which is not what we want. I mean, there's definitely a gradient going on, but you can't really control it. And it's not exactly going up and down or side to side. It's kind of going like weird diagonal patterns. So we can fix that by deleting this and then uh, adding this back. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to make everything say zero, except for the Z axis. We're going to put this on point two. And then the rotation is going to be zero, 45 and zero. And then the scale is going to be zero, three and zero now what this does is as you can see if i change the scale of the um y you can see it makes it so that it is uh like kind of smushing everything together um and three is a good value to put this kind of like at the bottom in the center uh, about at that uh, about that place you can put it on two as well you can put it on two as well or maybe 2.5 probably just two looks good um you can put it on two as well that works uh looks, look, looks like it's more in the center on two actually um, and then the rotation is just obviously to rotate it the way that it's supposed to go. If I put this on zero, um, you won't be able to really tell the difference because we have to change the Z as well. As you can see, if I change the Z, you can see a slight difference. Oh, there you go. Big difference there. But yeah, so you can leave this on zero actually if you really want to. Um, but when we put this up to maybe five-ish, you can move it down, move it up using this, uh, the Z axis uh, on the location. And you can see we get some really, really nice uh, effects. So the only really one you want to make sure that you have um, set to a different value is the Y scale. And then to, to move it up and down, you would obviously need to do the Z um, location. So that is basically uh, that is basically it for today's tutorial. I hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. But until then, bye bye.